Primacy is a concept related to freeway signing that says that we want to put the most important signs closest to the interchange. And so we'll see a couple of examples in this video of that in practice. And what we'll really be looking for are some of the guide signs, so the green signs, and then some of the information signs about the services at each interchange. There was a brown sign giving us some information about uh, some feature or some attraction at that location. We're coming up on exit 157. We've got the, an overhead sign there telling us one mile ahead we'll reach the interchange. And what we're looking at is we also have spacing that is required. So we need to have the appropriate space between the signs so that drivers can have a chance to read and process the information on those signs. So now we're seeing our first sign about food. And that is a fairly important piece of information for motorists, but our most important of the blue signs, the informational signs for drivers is gas. And so as people are driving along, they may see, hey, I need, I'm low on fuel. I need to, to stop at a gas station. The last blue sign will be the fuel. And we've got one more overhead sign here telling us exit 157. And then the last sign for the exit is the exit number and the arrow. So that's the, the, the general concept of primacy. So here's another one. We're going to approach exit 261. So we just saw that first exam, advanced guide sign telling us that the exit is approaching. Other pieces of information that drivers will look for are the mile markers that will give drivers a clue for the exit that they are approaching. And again, we're looking for the most important information being placed closest to the interchange. There will be other guide signs that's a sign telling us the uh, upcoming the distance to upcoming locations here's again another advance sign telling us exit 261 is one mile ahead also have some brown signs giving us historical or uh, government sites a visitor information center and a historic hillsboro sign Now we're getting some information. There's a hospital at this exit. So exit 261 has a hospital. So that's another piece of information that may be useful for drivers. And this one has uh, two pieces of information together, both the food and the lodging. Typically, if they're separated, the lodging will be before the food. And then before lodging would be attraction. So it'll typically go attractions, lodging, food, and then gas. So another food sign. So they didn't all fit on one. So the Earlier one had some food and some lodging. And then gas at exit 261 here. Now we're actually approaching the interchange. One more sign telling us exit 261 to Hillsborough Street with the arrow. And then the last one within the gore is exit 261 with the arrow. So hopefully anyone wishing to exit is already over there. Now we're approaching another example. This is exit 266 for Chapel Hill. This is our one mile warning. It's our guide sign telling us one mile ahead is our exit. And again, we're looking for, again, the most important information, the most critical information is closest to the interchange. Working back from there, we've got the exit number with an arrow, and then we've got gas, food, lodging and other attractions. So now we're approaching an attraction sign. So there's an attraction at this exit. The next one we should expect will be food. So there's a few food options at this location. And then our last one just from this concept of primacy is going to be gas. So the last business related sign is it's going to be fuel it's going to be the closest one to the interchange of those blue information signs then we're going to see our last sign giving us the the details of what's at this exit so exit 266 chapel hill for nc86 and then our final green guide sign is exit 266 with an arrow so now we're approaching exit 270 that was a 
kind of more advanced warning two miles in advance. There's more signs for this one. So uh, some of the additional guide sign information that's going to be in between. This is the road to turn basically right to go to UNC Chapel Hill, left to go to Duke University, exit 270. And now we're going to start seeing the blue signs. So as we have talked about, we would expect first to be lodging. If we had any attractions, that should be in front of the lodging sign, but this one is for lodging. So that's a pretty full sign. We had six businesses listed on that blue information sign. Another one telling us now there's hospitals and there are hospitals both at UNC Chapel Hill and at Duke University at the upcoming exit 270. We're told here Keenan Stadium, Stadium and Dean Smith Center at exit 270. So again, some additional attractions at this exit. And our last big green guide sign giving us the details of what's ahead. US 15, US 501, Chapel Hill and Durham, one mile ahead. Hospitals are also available at this exit at each of those campuses. Here's a brown sign of a state historic site, but then it placed Duke Homestead at exit 270 as well. So again, a lot of signs that we saw in order to give drivers the opportunity to read these signs and space them out correctly. We had to start very early on over two miles away. We have a food sign now with six businesses included on that sign. And again, we've got to give drivers enough time to, to read and process this information. Another food sign with six more locations at this exit. A green guide sign telling us that Durham is accessible via the next nine interchanges. Our gas sign for exit 270, so that should be the last of the blue informational signs. Our final overhead warning for the exit, exit 270 with the roads that are there and the final exit number with the arrow. So again, this is the concept of primacy, putting the most important information closest to the interchange. 